Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to FTB, FTB Unleashed, episode 24, Skyblock episode 5, and we are about to get far into everything I was hoping this Skyblock would turn into. So, as you can see, red cows now have six, two of them are babies, and I'm going to kill the first one right now, once I get in. I'm gonna just jump in here and get a kill. Hopefully, this gives me both at least one leather and one raw beef. So that is two objectives that I really need. Otherwise, I need to kill another one. Awesome. Oh, six leather? Oh, wow. What mod change is that? Okay, now get out of here. Up and up. And break. Cool. What mod changes it so you get six leather? Oh, that's really good. So if I were to check back my book, I think I just need one leather and one raw meat. Yeah, one leather and one raw beef should get me two chickens and some sugar cane. And we are getting really close. That moment's coming. The time we make that cake and dive into having fun. <laughs> oh yeah, machines and everything all coming from just trees and mob farms. Once I get that first stone, ooh, it's gonna get exciting. Pumpkins have been growing, uh, melons have been growing, wheat's been growing, carrots, everything's just been growing. Um, I made some changes to the mob system, now it works, like, flawlessly, except for the endermen, of course. Pumpkins, apples, oh, rotten flesh, I have a lot of stuff, don't I? So, the mob system, I... Complete. I filled in this little gap right here, so now nothing's there. Wow, look at all these ender pearls. Endermen now get stuck in the wall, stuck in the ceiling, since it's two blocks high, and it's a half slab, except for that guy. But they can't get me right here. That's what I'm trying to say. So they shouldn't be too much of a problem unless I am far away. And you can also notice, I haven't blown up, which is really good news. My, my inventory is not full. So many endermen. Now I can just punch these guys. No threat for creeper explosions, or anything like that. Look at all that experience. That still scares me when creepers drop. Like, you can't, you can't not be scared by that. Because, yeah no reasons, just, um, habituation, I think it's called, when something happens over and over again, and if you're used to that causing bad things, whenever it happens, you expect something bad to happen, if that makes any sense, <laughs> probably does not, ooh, power two, uh, what else do I have, oh, I have power two, punch one, I got some pretty good bows, not much durability, but still pretty good, can't combine them to have an anvil, but these tasks I just did should be get up. These tasks I did should be back by now. And they are. We got two bottled chickens and a sugar cane. So, I am slightly aware of how to make cakes. Let's get these chickens in here. Awesome. Oh, good. Now those chickens will start laying me some eggs. I'm slightly aware of how to make cake. Never really had to make it before. Because, like, why would you? I guess it's fun to have. But, I'm pretty sure it's milk, 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 egg, sugar, sugar, wheat, wheat, wheat. I'm not going to check. I'm just going to take a guess at that. But I know you need three milk and one egg and sugar and wheat. I have wheat. I need to plant this sugar cane in the place of this. I do know that sugar cane needs to go next to water. I played Minecraft for so long thinking you can't replant sugar cane because I'd right click on the dirt, nothing would happen. Then I finally realized it has to be planted next to water, and that was the biggest thing ever because it always have to be, oh, sugar cane here, remember this position and come back and get it. And yeah. <laughs> and yeah. So, chickens should be laying eggs. The mob farm going, and I'm in everywhere. Lay eggs, chickens. Actually, I have seeds, don't I? 
Come here, chickens. Make baby chickens. I guess I didn't really need to have two chickens for that achievement, because you can just wait for eggs. I guess it does speed things up a bit. So once those chickens lay them eggs, we'll be ready to get on with more tasks, and I'm really hoping that I get the cake this episode. That way next episode, we can get into everything I have planned, and I have a lot planned. Be right back. Well, oh, the death message already left. It's an Enderman. Uh, chicken! I put another chest here, and it has decreased my mobility. And I didn't have a sword on me. So I was right there. Two blocks, but I couldn't get over to here where I normally kill him. Oh well, it happens. So I have... Wow, I'm getting tons of lag right now. I have tons of bones, which are great for growing stuff, except sugarcane. I have a bit of waiting for sugarcane. There's your update. Death 5, I think. Come get me. Oh, there's a hole. What? Wait, what? Oh, I was in the wrong spot, that's why. I'm like, there's a hole up there now? One, oh... Uh, I've been playing 1.7 too much. I'm used to a um, sprint key. Got to remember to double tap. That's better. Grow oh, darn you! Success. We got another sugar cane. And now we plant this one and wait for them both to grow, and then we get sugar and we can make a cake. Yes. Um, I may need a couple minutes. I'd like to propose a topic of concern. That guy. Wow. There's so many entities over there. 90. I don't have arrows. Yeah, I'll just go punch him. He was actually there. Oh my god, look at all the endermen. Every time an ender top spawns, it, every time an ender top falls, it spawns like two. So, yeah. I guess there are just so many that they're actually pushing each other out of the walls. It's happened a few times with like some zombies and stuff. I just shot them. That creeper now has me worried. Wow, there's so many. I'm still beating through them. Either way, oh, I see your armor. Either way, oh, check out all that armor. Oh, I just looked at like all of them. Oh well. Let's let's go check in our loot. We got some armor here. Ooh, leather pants, protection one. Leather boots, protection one. Oh, we're shimmering now. So. That creeper was not actually the reason I am back recording. Oh, ain't even chain leggings. Now, is leather pants protection one or chain leggings better? Well, this is one more durability, so I'm going with the leggings for now. I do have backup pants. So if you can see, I am about ready to make a cake. But there's one thing missing, and that's milk. And I don't have a bucket... So you're seeing the problem. How uh, well, about this objective right here should solve said problem and open up a big door to a mod that we will now be able to play with. Which I'm pretty sure we could already. It's stuff I didn't consider when I started making the packs. I'll tell you once the war comes in. What? There it is, Force Gems. I don't know. These are actually here, right? If these actually spawn chickens, I'm just going to kill them and throw the loot over the edge. Because... They... 
What? I don't understand. I have chickens over here, right? Okay, here's what I got. 16 force gems and 3 beeswax. Now, the beeswax has only one use right now. And that would be this. Making me 4 wax capsules. Which I can then go... 3... Get some milk. I actually shouldn't have gotten all four. I might have been able to save one of the capsules for something. But that is not a problem. We are about to make the cake. I'm so excited. So we got sugar. This may be wrong, but it may be right. And there's the cake. Oh, yes. It is not a lie. That cake is in there, and we are about to get the big inert stone and get going I'm so excited you better be too and I'm eating apples I should wait for the inert stone to come in there it is the inert stone we've been waiting since we started this to get that inert stone I'm gonna go right away and take some uh, minium shards which I have plenty of and upgrade it and we got a minium stone the basis for this entire sky block all runs off minium stones now everything else is tree farms because how much iron do we have right now not a lot but some all right it's four four pieces of iron that's enough to make a bucket and also if you remember what I did say is that what happens after I complete get the cake? I said something specific. You may remember, you may not, but either way, it is something very important. And I need some wood before I do it. Um, just chop down this tree. Uh, let's do this. I'm going to need a lot more space than this. Yes, it is time to open the spoils bags. All the spoils bags. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's not even gonna be enough room in here. And if this is if this seems too overpowered when I get this stuff out, I this one. If it seems too overpowered when I get this stuff out, I'll just get rid of whatever's too overpowered right now. Because these spoils bags do have really good loot. Okay. Sort stuff. Let's see what we got. We got tin, copper, two diamonds. Wow. Steel, steel, steel. Four smiths, more steel. Thaumium. There's a lot of stuff in here, but honestly, I'm not seeing anything too overpowered. Nothing I couldn't have gotten within the next, like, five minutes. Except for the steel, maybe. But that I'm just going to be using for armor. Oh, but my zombie. I'll leave my zombie head on. Mm, iron chest. That's just some wood. Two diamonds. Those are big. Got some force stuff so I can get going on. Yeah, that, that's what I was going to say. The spoils bags would have got me into dark craft. Not... Yes, dark craft. If I didn't get the force gems. Uh, tears. Tears are very important. And obsidian, and grab some of these force mitts, steel pickaxe, awesome, awesome stuff. So, now that I have, hey, look at crew, it, this stuff took forever. Now that I have the inert stone, where is it? All right, oh, it's right here. Now that I have this, I can make some more dirt, which I really need. In the form of grass, but it doesn't really matter. Which I really need. And before I do anything else, I want to make another inert stone. Is that iron? No, I used up all the iron. I want to make another inert stone just in case I lose this one. But for right now, I'll keep it in the chest. So, I'm going to take my dirt and make a nice big old dirt platform right over here. I'm going to need to make a lot more dirt, a lot more platforms. Be right back once I get some stuff set up. Oh, I'm so excited now. Yeah, you can tell in my voice, can't you? I'm just filled with excitement. 
Okay, so there are a lot of things I'm not entirely sure about when it comes to mod packs. But one thing I am sure about is that I'm not crazy. And this argues that this two more bottled chickens. I only put two bottled chickens into the system and I've taken six out so far. And they are real chickens. <sighs> what? I threw it and it opened. Nifty. Oh, this just grew. So anyway, it is time for a quick game of guess what I'm about to craft. So I got all the stuff in my inventory. I'm pr pretty sure this is it. So the idea is you try to figure out what I'm about to craft as soon as possible. Before I start crafting anything, here's what, here's what I got. I got eight cobblestone, five iron, four tin, three copper, eight redstone, six rubber bars, and three refined iron. I'm pretty sure that's everything. Okay, now I try to figure out what I'm crafting as soon as possible, and I'm going to start crafting it. And here we go. That should be getting it right about now. There it is. It's a generator. I decided that I'm going to go into IC2 power instead of buildcraft power, just because IC2 has solar panels, and solar panels would be really nice here. Just making it massive solar panel arrays. So, here's to power. And I've been cutting down trees for quite a bit, crafting stuff into materials. I got six gold, which is actually a lot. I still got those two diamonds, ten iron, and thirty copper. I've all gotten from the spoils bags. So my idea now is get a bat box plugged into this. Not a box of bats, but one of these, a bat box. Which takes three of the batteries, which I do have the redstone for. I don't believe I have the tin for it. So I'm going to need eight tin. I'll do this, that, there. Eight tin. Now that I think about it, the system I have set up might not be or dictionaried. In that case, I will have to go fix that problem. But we'll find out that soon. And I'll be right back with when I'm ready to start putting more stuff together. Okay, so here's what I've been up to. I expanded the island using a bunch of grass and dirt. The dirt I got from these cool plant balls. I finally have a use for all my saplings. I had piles of saplings. Then eight saplings makes two of these balls, and one of these balls makes eight pieces of dirt, which is really helpful. And it's also helpful that one piece of dirt can be turned into a piece of cobble, and that's really good because I'm really lazy and don't like mining cobble. So what I just made is this harvester, and this thing was not cheap. It took a total of four pieces of gold and 11 pieces of iron. The four pieces of gold itself is four times eight is... I'm blanking 32. So that's a total of 43 pieces of iron. That's a lot of iron, considering a stack of wood is only 8. That's over 5 stacks of wood. Most of the gold I got from the, the spoils bag, so it's not much of a problem. But either way, I got a harvester. And what's really good is it actually works with this. So it just takes some energy. Doesn't look like it's using up too much. And it'll harvest the trees in front of it, which is super awesome. Now the next thing I have to do is make one of these, a planter. This one takes one piece of gold, uh, four, pe three, yeah, six pieces of iron, two, two pieces of gold, I mean, two pieces of copper, two sheets, I have the sheets, and some cooked clay. So I'm going to do that real quick, and we'll plop that down right in the middle. Another quick thing. I also expanded underneath so that when time comes to finally make this into something, we have room to do it. So I'll be right back, and episode is almost over. Just gotta make this planter. And there it is, the planter. Now this thing has a def really small default range, but that can be upgraded, and I plan on upgrading it. 
before I make it run, maybe to um, copper. Radius of four. So one, two, three, four, right here. Oh, perfect. A little close, but it works. Now it goes one below the dirt level. So I need to come down here and give it a spot to sit on. Kind of don't like it this close to the edge, but this is where it has to go. I'll just expand the platform later. Anyway, planter comes down. We need some cables to hook it up. Now I should be able to cover it, even though I don't want to, so I know where it is. I'll just put a plank. That way I know where it is. We need a cable going underneath. And then we'll be ready to start setting up our automatic tree farm, which is what I planned this entire upper surface to be, just growing trees, doing fine on energy, and yeah, that's what happens when you make a cake. Hmm, never thought of that, did you? That's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching.